everyone, it is me, Ross Bob, and I'm here today. I'm going to teach you some more about painting. A uh, couple of things are different. I'm sure you could point out what yourself, what's changed. Um, for one, we don't have an easel because it would be really hard to put three pieces of paper on one easel. Which brings us to what we're doing today, and that's painting one picture on three different panels and then but it's the same picture but different because they're different ones anyways it'll make more sense later I have a sweater on so we're gonna do a simple snowflake I thought to represent the incoming brutal temperatures uh, we'll just start with the background first, which we should probably do um, blue and white. I was just getting inspiration. So now we'll get our big, big brush and come in with the blue and the white. So you just like half and half it. I just chose the direction I wanted the snowflake to lay and just started painting that. How you do that is you think, and then I painted it like that. And then I'm just going to fill that all in. I know you're all thinking, Ross Bob, why does that look like nine armed tentacles coming out of like an ocean by an island or something instead of a snowflake? Idiot. And well, I'm not done yet. So, this one is black and white, so uh, we gotta use a lot of white. Um, we're gonna get our medium brush, and then after we whitewash this one, we're gonna go over and put some details over here with the medium brush. But this is such a big snowflake, it's smaller so we're going to do that with white and I think we'll also make a nice light purple to go in here for the realistic snowflake because they're always purple and white and then come back in and blend it in with a lot of white Since we have the purple made, and this is going to be our trippy panel, I did want to go like the traditional trippy route of like splatter. I think it's probably a good time to splatter. Just make a generous amount of your color and block it on your brush. Well, it also got here and here and here. I think this is a good time to let the paint dry. I also found a snack. Now for these snowflake leg arms, um, do just a lot of colors. Whatever colors that you want. Oh, and that even kind of looks like a candy cane. Whoa. So do that all over now. I'm going to have to dig deep here in my pocket. Because this picture needs a special color that I'm just not able to make. So 
I'm just going to take that new blue now and I'm going to just outline the whole purple one. For now, I'm done touching that. We'll finish off the trippy one because it's got the color and the splatter. I like how the drips happen here. So we will make more of them here. Neat. Get your small brush and then on this one, we're gonna go in with white and gray because this side is supposed to be black and white. For those of you at home, just know that in this one, we've used a lot of white. There's white and black here. Now I'm going to take the Idiot's Bidious brush and use white and occasionally black and then make like itty bitty snowflakes just to give the picture some depth and other things to look at on this side. Movement. This is a lot of doing snowflakes. Sometimes I like to do snowflakes with my eyes shut because no two snowflakes ever look the same. Now go ahead and just put a little black on them. Get your biggest brush and then we're just going to load this up with white and make like a snow mound. Okay, so that's how you create a picture of three into one. This is a masterpiece in and of itself, if you ask me. Come back next time.